finally, finally got my hands on these two beauties. Triumph's new Tiger 900 GT Pro and Rally Pro. the mid-range. In front of us now we've got two bikes, we've got the Rally Pro, this is exactly how it comes at the factory, lower crash bars, folding uh, brake lever and um, gear lever on the other side. We've got the Brembo calipers on the front, we've got 21 inch front wheel. This is currently sat on um, Bridgestone uh, adventure tyres which are really quite good on the road, um, obviously they're not intended for any off-road use whatsoever. We've got tubeless rims, As a Triumph Tiger owner of 2016 vintage, which was one of these, I took that down to the Pyrenees um, literally within days of buying it. And by the time it had done, uh, it was four days old, I was actually in the Pyrenees climbing the mountains. So, um, testament to how good the bikes are at travelling and how comfortable they are. I was doing sort of three or four hundred mile days, so I'm hoping that these new bikes actually stand up to that sort of test. Um, I'm not going to get to do 400 miles in one day on it, but I'm certainly going to get a good feel for what the comfort's like compared to the old model, what the engine's like compared to the old model. And, if, and also as well, how the ergonomics fit, because they've changed the whole chassis completely. There's, um, there's some really good touches on the chassis. We've got these new shell upside down forks. Um, uh, they seem to work really, really well. I was very impressed when we were out on the twisties. Um, on the motorway it's just really comfy, very sort of comfortable, very supple, um, but on the back roads, certainly on the A roads, twisty, chugging into a left and a right and corner, no matter how bumpy the road it just tracks through. Um, quite heavy on the steering because we've got the 21 inch front, it's quite tall and it feel, the bike feels really stable in a straight line. One thing that did um, strike me was actually chucking it into a tight corner at high speed, you've got a bit of effort there, you need to sort of make sure you want to go in there. And, Certainly, if you're into counter steering, you understand how that works, then yeah, you can take advantage of that sort of technique should you need to, definitely. Right, so what are they like to ride? Well, bloody hell. Um, I'm going to compare it directly to the 800. Definitely much, much faster than the 800. Although it's the same sort of power, it's got, it just feels more grunty, it feels and got much more drive out of corners. Um, it just feels much quicker all, all round. Um, there's absolutely nothing that um, that I can say isn't better on the 800 that's on this one. The suspension's on this, the new 900's better, the, the drive out of corners is better, it seems to handle, it steers better, the suspension's much more, much more supportive and compliant, um, feels incredibly comfortable. Um, chuck it into a corner, it holds it flying really well, um, certainly on the back roads um, where you've got the sort of uneven near side and off side cambers on these roads um, it just tracks as true as you like no issues whatsoever and, and drives very very cleanly um, the up and down blipper thing this quick shifter and the down blipper it takes me a while to get used to that like I said because I'm not tuned into that really but if you do forget that it's got these gadgets um, certainly it doesn't really make much difference and if you ride it old-fashioned style and you you know shut the throttle and all that sort of thing uh, and then you blip the throttle on the down changes it still does it using the clutch no issues it's still smooth as you like um, this one comes with um, in this green which is white frame and unlike the old bike this new subframe is voltable so whereas the old and so are these whereas on the old bike it's all welded together so if you if it had, was involved in it, it was a minor spill car park job and this bent if this bent here or this bent it was a whole frame job, the whole thing was written off, whereas now you can change it. You can unbolt these if you want, if you want to go off-roading. Um, certainly the adventure model, I would take it off-road, it feels really good off-road for that little few minutes that I took it off-road. But if you were actually had to sit down in some big boggy stuff and you were paddling through the old mire, you wouldn't want them in the way. So chances are I'd unbolt them um, and then blank it off so you can, you, you can, you don't, you're not going to catch your legs on the side. Um, where are we? Yeah, off-road wise, I'd certainly need some bigger foot pegs. Stood up on the foot, stood up on the pegs. These aren't really big enough. 
they need to come out a little bit further so if I've got motocross boots on I'd want it to come out further but the actual folding uh, gear lever is a quite a good touch um, side stand doesn't really get that much out of the way does it that but then I suppose it's got to be in a, in a certain place to actually lap work when it's down um, tubeless tyres which is a bonus um, certainly for road use um, but I would imagine if you're off-roading you're going to take a you're going to someone in your in the group is going to want a tube just in case if you split the tyre um, I imagine you're going to be struggling um, suspension wise or well, manual adjustment on this one it's all manual adjustment heated seats front and back rear passenger can alter their own position um, yeah what I was going to say was this the rear end of it looks absolutely awesome because it's got this um, big bore sort of pipe coming up there with a cat in it and it's tucked in really nicely um, I imagine that then when you put the panniers on you haven't really got the panniers six feet out to one side because you've got a nice slim exhaust pipe there um, typical Triumph the finish is absolutely tremendous I love the way it's finished um, this, this nice sort of matte sort of speckled view on here is really smart the engine's finished off brilliantly um, interestingly enough we've got a lovely um, aluminium look uh, brake lever on that side and we've got the what looks like pressed steel again on this side which is I think a bit looks a bit cheap that looks a bit cheap it's like that on the old bikes but I suppose you pay you pay your money and get your choice this has got the upper engine bars fitted which I've, if I if I was to have that bike I'd have these upper engine bars fitted definitely just to protect all this nice plastic should the old thing drop over onto its arse and let's face it if you're going to go off roading with a 200 plus kilo bike there is going to come a time where it's going to fall over and you're going to have to pick it up um, ergonomics wise yeah nice riding position on that was lovely um, the screen is adju was adjustable on, on the motorway it's, it, it's, it's not the most technical adjustment but it works um, and it's quite effective all these little side deflectors they're probably quite a bonus to sum up a vast improvement over the 800 a vast improvement over the 800 the engine and the suspension just speak volumes they're apps they're so good um, the brakes are phenomenal um, these Brembo style I think they're these what they call Starlema or Stylema calipers I'm not really into all that two bike technology stuff but certainly on the open road you anchor up hard and you do feel it it does pull you back quite nicely the difference between the two if I was never going to go off-road ever I'd go for that one I'd go for the GT Pro without a shadow of a doubt um, it's a road bike it's, it looks like an adventure bike you've got the adventure bike comfort you've got the style um, and the character of an adventure bike in the sort of genre you work you can wear all the right clothing you know what people are like um, you'll have your peaked crash helmet and your Gore-Tex liners and all that sort of stuff on that bike lovely very comfy good tourer a good two-up touring motorcycle you and a missus and a luggage no problem at all this bike this one certainly if I was going to go off-road and I want to do some uh, adventure trails in mountains or even just a, this trans-euro trail um, down through France and into Spain and across to Italy and things like that you pick up some gravel trails this bike is a lot better than the old bike and I'll tell you I'll tell you a little story when I was on in Spain on my old bike my 800 we got to a rocky climb and it kept wicking out on me because the traction control was always fighting to, to come back in again um, and it was a real struggle to get up there and it's all because there's no bottom end you couldn't just sort of lug along in low res and just lift the front off and just little, that little blip to get that drive forwards you couldn't get that whereas on this new bike you can you can get that sort of bottom end grunt that little shove off the bottom to loft over the odd rocks and boulders and the odd roots and things like that this new bike a lot lot better um, than um, than the old 800 in terms of off-road ability um, without shadow of a doubt suspension so much better um, certainly in 2017 I did the old uh, hard out tour in Italy this bike would be an absolutely outstanding bit of kit you'd need some protection though I'd want a, perhaps a better crash bar I, 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 I know these have got the radiator guards on but I'd probably change them plastic ones for aluminium keep that on perhaps um, not sure you'd cope with a higher mud guard don't know if that's the sum of the triumph would even consider really because you've got all this all this gubbins tied in here but certainly with some decent off-road tyres um, 
and I'd put a little blanky plate down there just to just to stop the crap from diving into the diving in towards the engine. You can hustle it along and make the roads quite nicely. I really, really like it. So just thanks to Charlie and uh, James and Jim inside here, uh, the Gunner Motorcycles. They've uh, done me proud really. Both bikes out. I've had an hour, hour or so on each bike, and um, yeah, really impressed. Well, oh, just bad luck to the venture. Well, as you can see from the tread pattern, there's not much adventure in them, is there really? They're road tyres. Um, might be a 21 inch front bit of road tyre. Which, again, if you're, gonna go, if you're never going to go off road on it, then you're fine. Rear suspension adjustable here, just like a normal sort of knurled knob there, just wind into the preload that you want. Not sure about the damping. Well, I see it's all manual adjustment on this one. Damping screw down there. Look, you've got a damp it gives you lots of options for off-road tyres. Um, some quite radical off-road tyres. You'd probably want some sort of hugger setup if you're going to off-road it. You'd want something to stop the crap getting into the exhaust pipe. Um, but A to stop the crap getting in here and stop the crap getting under there as well. White frames look awful, aren't they, when they get muddy? Get muddy and wet. Right. So to sum up, guys, very impressed. By the time you've bought one of these and you've put some decent luggage on it, you're looking at about the fourteen and a half thousand pound mark. <laughs> I'll say that I'll say that lightly, fourteen and a half thousand pounds. But that's fully equipped as it, as they are now. Whereas some other brands, their bikes start at about that money, and then when you start adding the, the, the gubbins onto them, you're going to end up you can easily end up nudging twenty thousand pounds for a bike that will do a similar job. Um, but like a lot of things in the modern, modern world, you pay your money and you take your choice. Um, personally, I really like the look of these. Certainly riding them now, I think, I think they're cracking bits of kit. Even this two-tone finish on these engines, look. That's lovely the way that's finished in there. Anyway, I'm starting to waffle now. I'll put all this text, the text and specs on the, on the side. I'm not going to go through all the bloody read from the spec sheet, that's not what you want to hear. Ride like, well they ride really well. Adequately fast, I wouldn't say they're super duper fast, pull your arms out fast, but they're adequately fast. Very, very comfy, ride all day. That new engine with a 900cc um, upgrade and the um, uh, alternate sort of firing order has made a massive difference. I'm, I'm sure that inside there's a lot more technology than that, but uh, yeah, marvellous bits of kit. And um, if you want an adventure bike to go um, wherever you want to go, you'd be hard pushed to get something much, much better than this. I mean, it depends. Like I say, it depends what you want. If you want to go the the full enduro style route, then you're going to go. You're going to look at the T7, the 790 KTM. Is it better than a KTM? Mm, I prefer this to the KTM 790S. I haven't ridden a 790R. I'd like to try that because the suspension package is supposed to be better. Perhaps I'll get my hands on with a 790R soon and test ride one of them. Um, certainly, um, compared to the Africa Twin, I would go for this. Um, and I'm going by what my old bike used to do, similar size tank. My old bike, uh, my old 800 Tiger, would easily do 250 miles on a tank, which, to be fair, if you're touring, you don't want much more than that, do you? Um, I think at once I saw 267 on my old bike, so I'm, I'm guessing these bikes will do a very, very similar job. So there you go, thoroughly recommended. If you're out and about and you're coming past a Triumph dealership, you could go, you wouldn't go far wrong popping in and test riding one of these bikes. They're pretty good. Anyway, if you like what you've seen, uh, give me that old like finale, give me that uh, subscribe thing. Um, all sounds a bit. Mm, but I'm not. If you do, if you want to subscribe and you want to catch some more reviews, then great. Um, it'd be nice to see you because I'm going to be doing some more now as the shops are open again. So uh, yeah, more the merrier. Uh, speak to you soon. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.